made a couple of videos without this before and people were not happy. What's going on, bro? Chachos, it's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Bite. So today we're gonna be covering my exact and very simplistic meal planning strategy because this this goes a certain way that I like to plan my meals as opposed to the way that a lot of the bodybuilder style type of meal planning goes. It's really simplistic and it has yielded me an incredible amount of results and I think it might be able to help you as well. So let's get straight into that. So as opposed to doing this the typical way that most guys do, they'll plan out all of Sunday, they'll carve two hours or more just to cut everything and cook every single meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all the snacks, put them all into Tupperware, and then jam them in the fridge. Now, is this strategy effective? Sure, for some people, but for me, that's not practical. I'm not gonna be cooking for two hours, preparing everything, stuffing my fridge full of Tupperware, and especially because if I see all that food ready for the entire week, it's just meal after meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I'm probably gonna start to eat more than I need to and just overconsume it because it's ready, it's already prepared for me. So my personal strategy doesn't actually go that way. However, it does have a lot of similarities and I'm gonna share those with you guys right now. So the very first and most important step that we need to make in order to meal prep properly is to actually get ourselves all of the resources that we need. The very first and foremost thing that we need to grab ourselves is our source of protein. So when I get to the grocery store, I initially just go straight for the chicken breast. Then after that, I go and get myself ground beef. I could get ground turkey if I wanted to be a little bit more lean, I just, I like ground beef, okay? And if you're into the supplements, then that might mean, you know, you having to get yourself a new tub of protein. You need to have your protein sources available because this is what's going to give us the physique that we all want. Now, after priority number one is handled, I now take on priority number two, for me personally, which is to get my fruits and my vegetables, the low calorie stuff with all the micronutrients that helps to make me feel great and have my body functioning like a well-oiled machine, as opposed to just being bro infused or bro focused which i get called a lot but uh in, in terms of diet here as opposed to just focusing on carbs fats and proteins only macros i'm trying to get a lot of micronutrients in. so vegetables and fruits are very important and they also help me to get in a lot of volume in my diet eat a lot of volume in my diet that's going to make me feel fuller but there's an incredible low amount of calories so there's typically only like four things that i grab from the grocery store Thing number one, this is the most important, is Granny Smith apples. Huge bag of apples because I'll have like four of these after my last meal at the end of the day because they really help you to feel a lot fuller. They're damn delicious too, like damn delicious. I will also grab myself strawberries and blueberries. Uh, strawberries have a decent amount of fiber so they help you to feel full. Blueberries, tons of antioxidants and they really can help you to feel pretty great. And then in addition, I also grab myself some bananas for a nice source of carbohydrates and again, I just like bananas. Now in terms of vegetables, I've been leaning more towards getting ingredients that are actually pre-cut. I've been getting beets, butternut squash, sweet potatoes, they're already cut and like ringed and they come in these Tupperwares so that when I'm going to cook my dinners later on throughout the rest of the week, I just dump them into the uh, into the pan. And it makes cooking these things super, super easy. So I'll go and I'll opt in for all of those things. I will of course get myself kale. I've been on a huge kale kick recently. It's so good. You feel so healthy too. So I'll get a ton of that and I'll put that in with a bunch of my other recipes. And then I'm also gonna be getting three other things. Cucumbers, I'm gonna be getting bell peppers. Now when it comes to my sources of carbohydrates, I just go and get the Uncle Ben's instant brown rice. You just put it on an oven top, mix it with water, cook it, it's pretty simple. I will also grab myself either brown bread or multi-grain bread. Oh, it's so good because I make peanut butter sandwiches and they are absolutely bomb. And then for a good carbohydrate sourced snack, I might also grab myself some of the rice cakes too. Uh, the Quaker Oats rice cakes or Quaker rice cakes. I get the popcorn flavor one because that one has the lowest amount of calories. There's only about 30 or 35 calories per cake. So if you eat like seven of them, you are getting only like 240 calories, which is pretty dang good. So I am impressed with that. And they taste really good as well. That's the big theme here. I'm not eating ridiculous diets. like. God, some of these people are following. And then finally, the last thing I'll get, just some almond milk, plain regular almond milk, and it's just strictly so that I can make myself some protein shakes, low calorie sources as well. And it tastes great with protein powder. Now that we've actually got everything for ourselves to crush it for the week with our diet, the next most important thing is to prepare it all. To cut and dice all the fruits and vegetables that require that to have happened, other than the stuff that I already have pre-cut, like the sweet potato rings, the beet rings, and, uh, and the butternut squash rings, which is why I get those. You don't have to do too much prep. You wanna put those all in the Tupperwares or into Ziploc bags, just so that they're already ready for for yourself and you can just 
grab it. It's quick. You want to be quick because Monday to Friday, you were just in a complete blitz. You got to do this. You got to get here. You got to do the cleaning of your house. You got all these different tasks. So the last thing that you need to be worrying about is, oh, okay, I got to get home and cut some carrot. No prepare this as early as you possibly can. Now, as I said, I don't cook all of my meals throughout the week. What I do do is I cook probably dinner two or three times per week. Three times is very rare. Most of the time I just cook it twice. And I cook a huge heaping of stir fry. So I'll mix in a ton of vegetables, a whole pack of those chicken breasts. I'll dice up the chicken, toss it into the pot, cook that. And when I'm cooking this first round of stir fry for the week, I'll also make a huge pot of brown rice. This brown rice is going to last me throughout the entire week. I'm talking like between six to eight servings. I don't wanna to have to cook it very frequently. This is the intelligence of meal prepping. Minimize your time cooking by preparing a ton at once. So as opposed to cooking everything on Sunday the way that most people do it, I just cook big meals once, twice, maybe three times per week, and that's about it. So I'll make this huge stir fry, I'll put it in a giant Tupperware, throw it into my fridge, toss the brown rice, throw it into my fridge as well, and that's gonna be dinner for the next two or three days. Now in regards to what do we eat for breakfast and what do we eat for lunch, breakfast is always the same thing. It requires very little time. I just have a peanut butter sandwich on either the brown bread or the whole grain bread so that I can get in my fats, so that I can get in a good source of carbohydrates right when I wake up so I can crush it with work and then, you know, if I wanna go for a run or a jog or do anything a little bit later, I still have a little bit of energy I don't have anything ridiculous, crazy breakfast with, you know, eggs, scrambled eggs with brown bread and spread peanut butter on it and sliced strawberries. I keep this shit simple, man. That's the important thing here. And that leaves us with our very last meal. What, what do I do for that? Yeah, I got breakfast covered. I got dinner covered. Lunch. I always, you guys know, I just always have fresh, okay? It's just, it's so good. It's a good source of brown rice. Uh, well-cooked chicken. I always get the teriyaki twist. They got edamame in there. They've got all types of vegetables that I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but there's a ton of great ingredients in there. I know the quantity of calories is about 600 for every one of those meals. I fit it within my diet. I have that pretty much every single day. However, if I wasn't going to be eating fresh or sometimes on the days when I just am too lazy to go drive and pick it up, I might just eat some of my stir fry. So if I wasn't actually just eating fresh every single day during the weekday, what I might do then would just be maybe cook more stir fry or I would just make myself a brown bread sandwich with a ton of protein in it maybe two of them with a ton of chicken in it and load it with vegetables it's just that simple I don't, I don't make this stuff very difficult I make this simplistic simplicity is the key to all of my success when it comes to my physique and that's pretty much everything that is how I personally meal prep for the week it's simple it's my strategy I think it works for a lot of other people I've told my friends about this I've told a ton of you guys personally over Instagram or snapchat or email and you guys tend to tell me hey it actually works with me as well I'm not into the bro diet of cooking for three hours or two hours whatever whatever on Sunday and cooking every single meal on top of where wearing everything like that's that's just ridiculous so the main takeaways that we have here are kiss keep it simple stupid that's a big strategy of like everything I do Make it simplistic, make it practical. Don't go after crazy recipes that are gonna require uh, all different types of directions. Make a stir fry, you just toss it all in together, you just cut up some vegetables, or you get pre-cut vegetables the way that I do, like I'm lazy as hell. Get pre-cut vegetables, toss it in with chicken. You can even buy pre-cut chicken, or just cut up the chicken, I don't care. Just toss it in with the pot, mix it, toss in a seasoning, toss on brown rice on a burner, like it's simple. Keep it simple, stupid. And then thing number two, have everything ready to go. So after you get all of your fruits and vegetables and chickens and all, all of your good stuff, cut it up on Sunday, spend 20 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, probably 15 minutes, cutting everything up, toss it into a couple of Ziploc bags, maybe use one or two Tupperwares, and that's it. You wanna have it ready to go because the moment when you're really hungry and you're in a rush and you have to be somewhere and you're in your kitchen and you have nothing prepared for you, that's gonna be the moment where you're gonna go, uh, it's, uh, I have to get takeout, I have no other choice. So that's it. That's this really simplistic meal prep strategy that I've personally been following for years. It works out really effectively. Give it a try. If you do give it a try, let me know. Did you enjoy it? Does it work for you? Hey man, before we finish up here, I wanted to give you guys actually access to a 100% free physique sculpting program, Light. It's a mini program. It's gonna cover training, muscle building training, uh, fat burning training. There's a nutritional section inside of there. It's a mini program. It's got tons of great content. It's 100% absolutely free. We'll not be offering this forever, so I do recommend that you take advantage of this pretty soon because uh, it might not be available when you try and come back, you know, maybe a day later, 
day or two later, it probably won't be there. So take advantage of this right now. There's a link down in the description box. Uh, it'll say free physique sculpting program light. Click the light one, that's the free one. Create yourself an account uh, just with a username and a password. Your email address can be your username. And then you have access to the program for life. It's 100% free, you will not be charged now or at any time in the future, just in case any of you guys are questioning about that. Uh, and I think it's really gonna help you to burn an incredible amount of fat, build lean muscle mass. It's a bunch of great tips in there. Uh, you're gonna love it. So like I said, link down in the description and that's pretty much it. Other than that guys, that is everything in today's video. If you did enjoy the video, then be sure to give your boy a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me you guys. See you in the next video.